tag team action. Mind and Muscle taking on the new team of Chris Gordon and Damian Khan. I'm joined here on commentary by the manager of champions, as he demands that I call him now, Mr. Black. I'm glad that finally you have somebody out here who can call that. Joe Rules just got his rear end kicked, and how about good time Joe Rules got his butt kicked? I would have done it if I had been out here, but I had more important things to take care of, like Mighty Maul. I bet you were taking care of Mighty Maul, and he doesn't seem very fond of you either. Joe Rules? Yeah, I care. Like Philly Madison said, he walks around calling himself Joe Rules. It's not just a name, it's a fact. She calls himself Joe Sucks. It's not just a name, it's a fact. Collar and elbow tie up here. That's Gordon and, Ta and Dave Patera in there. You're good friend, Dave Patera. Yes, we're a good friend, Dave Patera. He's a very honorable gentleman. I heard at one point you were trying to get him to put a mask on to join the secret society. I was just trying to get him to put a mask on so I didn't have to see his ugly face. I thought he was your friend! I didn't say he wasn't ugly. Man, Mr. Black tells it like it is. Something I told you, my friend. You're pretty freaking hideous. Whoever called me your friend? Some guy named Carlton. Let's pay attention to the match. Old producer Carlton. Yo, what's this guy's name here? Chris Ford. Chris Ford. Yes. Ford. I think he's pretty exciting. Two. Only well, gets a count of two. No, four and. Oh, okay. You really need to learn to enunciate here, little guy. You need to put bigger ear holes in that mask, is what I think. Dude, I got a comment for that, but the family show, so I'm gonna leave it. Tag made, no, tag not made, I'm sorry, it's not the terror tagged out to uh, textbook food. I believe this is these guys' first two appearances here in EWC, right? Uh, they were, were they not here in the fall? They might have been. I don't see them. Picks him up. Slam. I know Damien. It's Sanjay Plus, long second brother. Second brother? Yeah. They don't even have the same. You can't be a second brother. He told me this in the back. I'm a broadcast journalist. Unlike you and Textbook Philly Madison, I do this job well. Wait, you know what? You have a problem with Textbook Philly Madison? I'm just saying, I'm the best commentator, commentator you got. You got me flustered. I thought you had a problem with Joe Rules. I a problem with you. Anyway, Textbook Philly Madison. Guest in my house, Mr. I'm now a guest in the, in the Puppet Master's house. What room do you stay in? I don't know what to do. Well, I'm only a guest. He lives here. Now I got a side here. I'm taking the mat. Good at amateur skills displayed by Damien Khan. Only gets a count of two. Ryan I don't gets think he's going to beat Philly Madison with the side hip. But he keeps making him kick out with that. And he's also driving, cutting off the air supply to the brain. Very smart move, I would say. You know, Philly Madison at one point was the longest reigning champion in the history. Longest reigning tag team champion. Critical <laughs> suplex and a beauty. Goes to the cover. Two. He only gets a count of two. Well, I'm just saying in general because. After the end of this year, Mo have held that U.S. title for at least another another year. Only kind of two. He's holding another two years, another three years before he catches up to Philly Madison. Oh, Mighty Mo can do that in his sleep. Speaking of sleep, that's what I was doing during his match. Mighty Mo. Spartan, Spartans are very exciting. Let's pay attention to these fights that are here. Both wearing down the... Both have shown themselves very adept to the side headlock, and it's a very good move. It's a very basic move, but it does so much to help win a match. But being new here in the UWC, they, they're obviously still trying to feel the right out and trying to, trying to get a feeling for what uh, Mind and Muscle can do. There's a nice kickoff there. Former tag team champion, Mind and Muscle. Held those belts for a solid two months. You know, it's a champion division in fronts here in the UWC. These guys are looking to get a little shot at the title. I know they certainly can love the Get one win right here against the former tag team champions, and you're right there in the title picture against the Unholy Alliance. I'm Irish Whip. Double drop kick, shades of the Rock and Roll Express. Goes for the cover. Why is the cool mullet? It's only a two count. 
only gets a count of two. They did sell the SOB out. That's the show. Come on, in. Going for a monkey flip. Might have gotten blocked there by Philly Madison. Snake on the top Very smartly done. Every once in a while, I'll say, he lives up to the mind part of mind and mind. Well, here comes the muscle. Dave Patera, the so-called world's strongest man. I don't think he's done anything to win that title. I think he just declared himself. Pound for pound. I don't know, there's probably some like four feet people that are as strong as Dave Patera. Look at this. Tom Smith got stuck on Philly Madison. And Philly Madison did nothing that unstick him. What are you trying to say? He did that on purpose? Ah, that's what I'm, I'm not trying to say it. I'm flat out saying it. Now we got the carry. He's got a weird chin on the looks more like a sleeper here. Trying to make Khan go to sleep. Push him off the ropes. Nice drop kick by Dave Patera. One of the better drop kick wrestlers here in the UWC. Push him to the cover. Only a kind of sleep. Nicely done. Goes to the cover. And then he for a count of two. Now you can't take Bond and Muscle for granted. I know they've been here for so long. They're still one of the best tag team wrestling teams here in the UWC. They know all the tricks. A couple of veterans, not too long ago, tag team champions. Then they had their own double drop kick. Is that going to get the pin right there? Goes for the cover. Only a count of two. Now Khan looks to tag his partner in. But Julie Matthews cuts him off and throws him to the outside. Just dumps him at move. Just dumps him out of there like a sack of potatoes. And if Brian Moody dumped him on the opposite side, so he's even further away from his partner. And then a running knee strike off the ring apron. Very nicely done. Then talk to the UWC fan range. I would have thought he would have learned his lesson about that by now. He's not very fond of you either, from what I understand. I really don't care what he thinks. And another knee. Why do you mow the United States champion? Do you do anything about it? No. I was going to say, I don't think I've ever seen Philly Madison do this many knee strikes before. It must be a new side of him that he's developed in the last few months. Oh, nicely done! It's that head scissor, takes Billy Madison down to the mat. Billy from in between, telling his partner, he's trying to make the tag. It's just pushes away and a boot to the back of the head. That might have knocked him out. It's hard to tell. Well, Billy Madison is just taking a break here. He needs to go for the cover. Arrogant cover right there, and it costs him. Oh, well, there we go. A nice kick to the midsection. Yeah, that's the better on instincts of Philly Madison that I was talking about earlier. Both in the corner, choking him. And here comes Dave Patera. Your pal. I really don't think you like Dave Patera too much. I know his truth, man. He doesn't talk too much to me backstage, though. I try to get him asking him stuff that he's not going to talk to you. I'm talking to anybody. You're an imbecile. Why don't you talk to you? I have things to say on this. Talk to him. He talks above his level. He talks to Philly Madison. Talk to you? Yes. He talks to smart people. Why is he talking to you? Double oh. Cox, you better call this match, otherwise I'm going to pull you out of this place. Double clothesline right there. Goes for the cover. Oh, it's kind of the crowd's starting to get behind Khan here, trying to get him to make the triple tag. Wait a second. The Billy Goat's curse. He's setting him up for it. He's got it locked in. The submission move in the center of the ring. It's like quite a bit of power and strength for Khan to get out of this. I think he might have just tapped the throwing power on the mat. Oh, Madison comes right down on his turn. I think he's just waiting right out of it. I think he's just looking for leverage. Now he's taking the knee pad down. Screw leverage. He's going from bone on bone here. He 
he drops the knee on him, it's over. He misses it. He can do some serious damage to the lateral collateral ligaments there. the tag, and here comes Chris Borg. Close lines for everybody. Puts him off the ropes. And Dog Power slam there. Now Wes Patterson off the ropes, and another one. Chris Borg is a house of fire. Another hit this kid's impressive. Both men in the corner. Punching away, Cannon home, folks. Ten punches each. Now they're setting them up. Meeting of the minds. Both men down. Nobody home. Boy, went for a crazy move off the top rope. Horse through splash, and he missed. Dumps Khan out of the ring. And now it's two on one. This is where the veteran instinct. Up, they're starting to mind a muscle. They're setting up for the double STO. There it is. That's going to be it right there. Goes to the cover. Chris, impressive outing. Number tag team champions looking to get themselves back in the title hunt. You have to think after that match, they'll be right back in. But I don't think we've heard the last of their recent of Joe Louis.